Hey there, my name is Sealbeck, and neither am I from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And it's uh, it's Saturday again, which for me means it's Sabbath. It's the Sabbath, and I'm offline. Anything could be happening now, and I have no idea. I have no idea what's going down uh, because you know, from Friday night uh, uh, for 25 hours, uh, it's, it's you. I'm offline. I don't. Uh, I don't go. I don't interact with social media. I don't watch the news. Don't watch TV. It's great, actually. I something I can kind of recommend. I do enjoy it. Uh, but you know, I think Saturday's a good day to uh, 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 drop these videos, which I, which I want to go over. They um, uh, these, these these videos, the comic book Sabbath, will always be talking about comic books that I think you should read. Comics that I think is really worth your time and worth reading. So I've been trying to work out what I was going to do this week. And honestly, my go-to comic books are always like Alan Moore or Frank Miller. I'm a child of the 80s. What do you want me to tell you? I, yeah, I come from the 80s. Uh, and so, yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, I like this comic. But I want to do something a little, uh, a little bit more contemporary. So I chose I chose this this week, which is like you, you may uh, never have heard of. It's called Letter 44. It's by Charles Saul. Uh, artwork by... Um, Albuquerque, whatever it's for, I don't know, I don't know, uh, and uh, some person called Major did the, did, did the coloring, so you know, I don't know the artist, I don't know the, uh, don't know the colorist, but I do know the writer, and, and this is uh, a comic book that's, uh, I would say, somewhat different to your average superhero fare, this is, uh, uh, this is not a visual, this is not like a primarily visual story, this is a story, like, I don't, this, I don't know when this came out, it came about about four or five years ago. I don't know if it was written as a pitch for a Netflix series. But boy, this will be a great Netflix series. Now, most of the time they write comics as pitches for Netflix series. They'll be, they're terrible comics. And they're terrible pitches for Netflix series. This actually is pretty darn good. This is pretty darn good. It's like 36 issues long, like 35, 36 issues long. It's been released in a series of six trade paperbacks. And I do recommend it. It's actually a really really compelling story but, but be, be, uh, before we get in the review can i ask you guys can you hit the subscribe button thank you very much i am pathetically grateful for everybody subscribing thank you very much if you subscribe of course you can enter my my weekly competition the prize this week is a judge dread trade paperback the pit it's a pretty darn good one i'm gonna put in the video notes a uh, link to uh, the, a, uh, a review of it. It's, listen, it's Joe Dredd driving around on a bike with a big gun shooting stuff. But this is actually a little bit more, a uh, bit of more of an intimate story, which I really kind of like. It's, it's, it's Joe Dredd doing something a bit different. All you need to do to win it, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe and in the uh, uh, comments, leave the hashtag Judge DeMarco, J-U-D-G-E-D-E-M-A-R-C-O. If you've never read Judge Dredd before, this is actually a reasonably good Jumping on spot, I think you know. I think it's it, it, it tells you pretty much everything you want you 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 uh, you want to hear. By the way, if you're in a bit of a Judge Dredd mood, check the uh, uh, the video notes. There is a link to a Judge Dredd uh, audio made by a company called Big Finish. Uh, this is made by about 10, 15 years ago, but it's out of license. It's out of print. You can't buy this thing anymore. Uh, so go ahead and download it while you can. I would say if I get in trouble for it, I, I gotta take it down. I gotta take it. I, I, I don't know why I haven't got in trouble for it, but I have not got in trouble for it. So yeah, if they, um, uh, but if they, if you download it, you listen to it and enjoy it, uh, go and Big Finish get the, gets the license back, which I doubt they would do. Um, go over there and buy yourself a digital copy. That's why I, 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 uh, I would hardly recommend. Fine, let's talk about Letter 44. So Letter 44, again, it's uh, 35, 36 issues long, and it's a good, meaty story. So this is something um, uh, that I think happens far too uh, far too infrequently and in media in general today, especially, again, especially in these Netflix series, right? <laughs> you know, I keep seeing these, like, 12-part uh, like Netflix series. I go, well, this would have been better if it was, like, four parts rather than 12. Especially, the, the you know, the, the Daredevil stuff. The, 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 I would like the first year. But most, most of those Marvel shows, I'm like, oh, God, it's a bit boring. But this, like, this story fills up the, the, the entirety of it and goes in lots of different directions. Now, this is going to be a spoiler-free, a reasonably spoiler-free review because I want you to read it. I want you to read it because I think it's, it's really worth your time. So, again, this is not a, uh, a a kinetic visual comic. This is a comic where the artwork tells a story and tells a story servicely, but this is a much more talky, uh, uh, intellectual comic. I guess intellectual, I think, is a, is a re uh, reasonable word for it. It's... Uh, uh, so, okay, the basic idea of this, Letter 44, when each president takes over, apparently the previous president leaves a letter for him. Boy, I would love to have seen, you know, the 45th uh, 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 president uh, letter uh, that he got from number 44. So this was in, you know, this was in the pre-2016 world where... Uh, 
You had a a very very uh, uh, you know uh, old school right wing president uh, who was who was outgoing. He was president forty four, and forty five was a uh, uh, was a very liberal left wing president. It was very you know personal, basically a white Obama. Okay, a white Obama. That's essentially who, you know, who he was. Uh, and he gets letter forty four, and letter forty four is again a forty fifth letter. Letter forty four has some pretty wild revelations within it. Letter letter forty four tells him that. Uh, let me start going through the pages so so we can see it. Um, just where. Now I've got now I've got got a oh yeah letter forty four starts over is it starts here yeah there you go uh, so again again you see the the artwork it's it's serviceable it it tells the story it's not the story you know it's not like J Lee or you know or uh, it's, it's not like Justice League you know it's not like you don't get like insane perspectives and things being you know it is it's there to tell the story and I think it does so uh, so. Uh, so so he uh, he gets this letter and he gets a disturbing uh, revelation that there is an alien spacecraft uh, uh, heading towards Earth and is uh, uh, just that that is not the alien spacecraft and is uh, uh, just outside Saturn I think but it's 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 uh, within the solar system but a fair ways away so there's they've been for the last 10, 15 years of uh, uh, something along those lines. They uh, uh, they've been putting together this mission to send up humans to go and meet this spacecraft. That's how long this has been going on for. And this has uh, really directed the entire every policy of the government uh, uh, up until this point. Yeah, you know, the, is the has been a very uh, the, the outgoing president is a very hawkish president. There's been many wars. So again, he's kind of based on uh, uh, George W. Bush. Uh, um, George, yeah, George W. Bush. I was going to say, but Bush too, right? He's kind of based on uh, uh, Bush too, but a bit more evil because he's the right wing. By the way, uh, uh, again, this was written, written by Charles Sewell. Charles Sewell, I've always quite liked. I don't know if he's part of the uh, uh, the group uh, or, you know, who've, who've like, destroyed the comic book industry. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I think he's more like... He was considered kosher by them, so they never attacked him. So yeah, I uh, I haven't I haven't read his his, his more recent one, but I have enjoyed. Uh, I did enjoy his Star Wars stuff, his Darth Vader. So I basically enjoy enjoy his work in general. I, I actually had quite a good run on Daredevil as well. Uh, but yeah, listen, I don't know if he's a massive like SJW. I really I have no idea. Um, uh, but you know, even even if he is, I think this is a solid good work, and it's it's really just. Uh, yeah, and look, it's good. Sometimes it's gonna be pretty darn objectionable for me to uh, 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 me, me, me to not look at that art. Like, you know, I was I was even okay with watching Mel Gibson movies. Mel Gibson's not so not not so pro Jew. <laughs> you know, as you may recall, I'll be I'll see, even thought I'll be fine watching Mel Gibson. Film. And Mel Gibson, I think, is probably one of the best uh, directors. Uh, well, was in in, uh, in Hollywood. Can't watch him anymore. Braveheart. I'm like, yeah, no, it's got, yeah. So it's got to be kind of that level of, of like, it's got to specifically hate me because of my yeah, ethnicity for me to not to want to look at his artwork. So yeah, so they're sending this the the uh this man man mission to meet this uh, alien spacecraft. This is the the alien spacecraft, and they yeah as they're coming in, they just uh, uh the first issue they. They, they 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 reach there and they don't know what the alien spacecraft is for or what it's going to do but all the uh, uh projections are is not good news it's not good news so for that reason this very hawkish president has been um uh engaging in a lot of like wars military campaigns because his thinking is that the most valuable asset in any combat is uh uh is is not combat ready Co you know uh, combat experienced uh, veterans right veterans that have experienced combat is like the most important thing within within combat so you've got that so you've got this really interesting political story going on on so they have to make the premise that on the, so you've got several locations you've got on earth you've got the political story going on because you've got the, the former president uh for the first like 10 issues or so leaves the current president alone uh, but then you see he's got his own thing going on. He got all these p political machinations, and that thing really, really works well. That that that's a, that's an aspect of the story that I, that I really like. Then you've got the community of humans that are aboard the spaceship going to the the uh, the aliens and uh, or the the alien spacecraft. You, you don't really know.
know what what it is at this point. And uh, and you got that you got their whole story going. Their whole story is freaking awesome. Yeah, it's really good. You you know, one one of the characters there is pregnant. She uh, yeah they 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 never intended to become pregnant. And now with a good. Third, was it 35 36 issue uh um you know length you they, they do go on like these little side quests you go in like you spend an issue or two looking at this one character how they you know how they became the person who won how you know how they they, they ended up where uh where they're going you know you do you do get to look at different things and again i, I like i'm again thinking if they, this ever got made into a into a netflix series or whatever whatever streaming service series uh i think uh you know it's, it, you could easily get a good th uh, you know three seasons so like what the uh, uh you again you've got to be okay with reading <laughs> it's easy you do get lots of very wordy pages like that with people just talking a lot um this is a political uh analysis uh, trying to look at uh, uh, you know the situation. What you know, uh, what's going on? So what what is going on? So eventually they do make contact with the uh, uh, with the a you know alien life form and tribal care. They got this very interesting like little circular pyramid technology that works for us. that you can see it's in floating, and they're very colourful. You know, uh, this is the former president, uh, uh, and the, yeah, so this is when it when it comes back. This is, oh, this is it. issue four. He's in. So yeah, they, 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 yeah, he seems to be like behind the scenes a lot. And yeah, that story grows up that they have again this like all these political factions going against each other. So if you like a good political thriller, you get that. You get a little bit bit of uh, uh, espionage in it, and of course you get the good sci, you know, sci-fi stuff as uh, as 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 humans and uh, uh, um, make makes first contact with aliens. And and you know, it's it's a good while before you fight. It's like about. Two thirds away in before you get a rough idea what's going on, and then you got also the drama of the first. This woman gets pregnant, and we're in this in the uh, in the space mission to meet the aliens, uh, and so it's about what a two three year mission, uh, and so yeah, it's the first ba ba baby baby um, uh, born in space. So you get a lot of this interesting stuff going on, and the you know, and the when the uh, 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 the alien ship gets to where it's going, it then you know uh, unfurls into this thing that they call the chandelier. What's it for? They don't know, and it takes a long time before you find out what it's for. But yeah, again, you get yeah week after week, you just get like yeah all these different uh, uh, storylines uh, working against each other, uh, working for each uh, for for each other. I think this issue they go into a little bit about the history of how this mission was uh, was put together. Yeah, and it was, it, it was yeah this was how yeah the stuff it was tested. Uh, they they develop they're, they're developing new new technology because they are fully fully expecting these aliens. To be hostile, right? Yeah, they, they, they whenever a society comes into in, into uh, a connection, uh, can, into contact with a, a society of superior technology, that society normally gets wiped off the face of the earth, right? The lesser technology gets wiped off the face of the earth. So eventually, uh, about a year in, you do meet the aliens, and it's this uh, and. This is another great aspect of the show, uh, of the show, of the of the book, because it develops this, this alien culture. You have these three aliens, and you have this completely alien philosophy of the way that they look at reality. So all this stuff is, you know, stuff I really like. I do like, uh, yeah, I do like my aliens to be very alien. Uh, yeah, and the you know, the, from there on, I don't think I can really tell tell you much more without without spoiling it. But this story is goes where you don't expect it to, and it goes there very very well. I, you know, again. Uh, I'm uh, pretty darn impressed with this. So towards the, the the end game, you get you get a lot of twists and turns. Uh, but again, you see, I put this page in so you can see just how wordy it is. You get a lot of very wordy stuff. You know, you don't get yeah, you don't get lots of uh, um, splash pages of like people you know knocking each, in the, uh, knocking each other out, each other out. The artwork is unique. I think it works for this. And generally speaking, uh, uh, serviceable, and it does, yeah. As we see towards the end, get into like de much more sci-fi sci territory. So you know, this one is a look. All the comics I'm recommending on this is a recommend. This one is a recommend for me. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's worth your time. I think it's a good story. I think it's an interesting story. Uh, I, I I think it's a rewarding story. You know, it's not a story where where you're going to be dazzled by the. Uh, uh, the creativity of the uh, yeah, uh, 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 of of the art team, but again, it's really. I think if they did that, it would be it would detract from the book rather than enhance it because it really you know it's about the story. I guess that's why why I like you know Alan Moore books because you can put basically any 
any artist on that, and you do get a fantastic book. You know, you go from David Lloyd to Eddie Campbell to you know Gary Leach to uh, uh, you know uh, Kevin O'Neill, and, and it doesn't. You know, you just get the strength of the story showing through. I think the same is true with this book. It's it's a strong recommend. Letter forty four. Go go check out the first trade trade payback. I think again. I think there's five or six. They're totally worth it. And uh, yeah, listen. I hope you read it. I hope you enjoy it. If you do read it, do enjoy it. Let me know what you think. My name is Fina Beckett, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!